Today, I'd like to talk about signs that we know that we're growing. A lot of times life is going to have ups and downs. We're gonna be doing really well in one season and then struggle in the next. And a lot of times we can struggle to see if we're really changing or growing in a positive direction. We're so consumed with emotions and the ups and downs that are happening in life that we miss that we're also changing in the process. And so today I wanna to talk about the top three signs and ways that you can tell if you are growing. I'm a firm believer that we should be only comparing ourselves to ourselves. So you should not get on social media and compare yourself to your idol or to your favorite actor or your favorite coach or your favorite singer. You should only compare yourself to you. That's the only competition. If we spend all of our time focusing on what everyone else is doing and comparing where we're at in that process, then we're always going to feel less than. But if you challenge yourself to grow based on who you were yesterday and who you'd like to be in the future, then you're going to constantly be moving in the right direction. The best way to grow into a better version of yourself or the best version of yourself is to focus on growth and that's personal growth within yourself. Now I'm going to be honest, personal growth is not always easy. In fact, a lot of times it hurts, it physically and emotionally hurts, but the benefits are always worth it. The best way to grow is to push yourself outside your comfort zone. While a lot of us like to stay in our comfort zone because it's familiar and safe and we like to call it comfortable, it's not truly comfortable. It's just a place that we have normalized and become familiar with and therefore we associate it with comfortable when the reality is it's the very thing that often prevents us from being able to move forward in the direction of our growth. While breaking out of your comfort zone is not always fun, like I said, it's the best thing that can possibly happen for your growth. So let's talk about the three signs that you are growing in the right direction. The first sign is that you forgive yourself quicker, and that is so imperative. Our own inner critic often will beat us up and tell us all of the things that we're not good at and why we suck and tell it terrible things about ourselves. And a lot of times we internalize that and we believe it and we can be our own worst enemy with our thoughts. But one telltale sign to know that you're growing is when you are able to recognize that you're human and to be able to forgive yourself and say, that's okay, I'm human and I'm still growing. That's okay, I didn't mean to make that mistake. But you're not as tempted to beat yourself up or tear yourself down, but instead you show yourself grace, which ultimately you deserve. The second telltale sign that you are growing is that you are able to recognize that you can learn from your experiences instead of staying bitter or in the victimhood of your experiences. When you keep a victim goggle on, your outward experiences in life are going to reflect that victim mentality. But when you're able to change that to an optimistic lens and understand, oh, this is working in my favor instead of working against me, or oh, what can I learn from this experience? Then your outlook on life will be totally different and therefore your experiences moving forward will match that as well. The third telltale sign that you are growing in the direction of your success is you put your energy where it belongs. There's a quote that I love that says, where your attention goes, your energy flows. And a lot of times when we're dealing with hurt, we're dealing with pain, we put a lot of our attention into the experience. But what would happen if you separated yourself from that experience and put your energy into your personal development, into your growth, into your self-care? Your entire life would change. I'm a firm believer that if you change your mind, you change your life. And so when you're able to shift your energy from the bitter and the angry and the frustrating place and shift it more into the developing who you are and learning and experiencing place, then you're really able to expand and grow in ways that you can't even fathom. So again, the three signs are you forgive yourself faster, you're open to learning from experiences, and the third sign is you place your energy where it belongs. These are the three telltale signs that you are growing in the direction of your success. Now understand that again, growing isn't easy. It's not always going to feel good, but it works in your favor every time. The hardest part that I have learned through growing is that not everyone will be on board with your growth process. But this is also a great time for you to reflect on who's genuinely in the corner for your benefit, who genuinely cares about your success. 
And the people that are bothered by your growth are those that can no longer take advantage of where you were before. And that's an opportunity to reflect on if they should be in your life at all. So let me know where you're at in the growth process. Maybe you never even took time to realize that there's changes that have happened because sometimes they're subtle. Growth isn't a significant shift, but sometimes it's small little incremental steps or incremental shifts that take place that eventually lead to the overall change. So comment below and let me know where you noticed the growth in your life. If you haven't noticed it yet, don't give up. It will come with time. The more practice, the more self-care, and the more involved you are with your personal development and personal growth equals the outcome that you desire to have in your overall growth journey. So let me know where you're at, where you need supports. If you'd like to schedule a call to support you on this journey, schedule that using the link below. And make sure you hit like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.